Today we're going to look at two games. We're going to discuss why I believe Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in particular are still undervalued is a bold term, but I'm going to go ahead and argue they are fully undervalued players, and I'm going to show you why. Let's go. So the most important thing in my eyes is everyone sees this stat sheet. Like when people look at like deciding the words or whatever, blah, 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 or the value of players, they often look at the stat sheet. And I think this is the wrong thing to look at, especially with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. And we're going to look at some specific clips as to why that's the case. The first one, and this is the clearest example. This is this is what actually inspired this video. Okay, so we're running in transition. We got three on two. Priority number one for any defense you're taught from day one is you can't give up a layup at the rim. Okay, so you got Paul George and James Harden right here. And what happens? Okay, you have Clay Thompson on the perimeter over here, Steph on the perimeter over here. And Draymond goes right through the middle. Why? Why? Why on earth would any defense not have somebody protect the rim, if not both of them protect the rim, frankly? Because Steph has what I call, and I've heard other people refer to as gravity. Okay? He essentially is such a threat out here that Paul George in his mind is thinking, I've got to make sure I stay attached, I stay close to him. And James Harden, same thing with Clay, means they have to essentially stay close to Steph and Clay, which gives open opportunities for other players like Draymond driving the lane. Okay. So as this player right here, we're watching Clay. In particular, the reason the Warriors are able to run action like this non-stop where they have little off-ball screens like this is because they have shooters like Steph and Clay. That's the only thing that allows it. Otherwise, you just be able to go underneath the screen or switch the screen, but you can't do that with Steph and Clay. Okay, so because this screen happens right here and Clay represents a threat so far from the arc, you have to have Jordan Clarkson go over, and you also have this defender jump to him because of the threat represents, which creates opportunities for the rest of them. Okay, so Clay doesn't get rewarded for this. This doesn't count as a sister rim because it gets kicked around more times, but it's that threat way over here that leads to a shot all the way on the other side of the court. So then looking at plays that are even more indirectly with Clay and Steph affected. Okay, so st you have Steph and Clay on the same side. You have Rod Jamsky, who's a good shooter too. And so you have to stay connected as defenders because of the threat each of them possesses. So all Kaminga has to do is cut and you have the ability, we have, you have Draymond, a great passer, and you have Kuminga, a really athletic guard. And because no defender is able to help, you have one-on-one -on -one essentially in all this open space. Okay? And if you can fit a pass in there, it's really difficult to guard when one player has a full head of steam, and that gives open opportunities for Kaminga. Steph Clay didn't even come close to the ball, didn't even get like a fake pass thrown their way, and yet they still led to an open layup simply by being in the game. Okay, step for the ball up here. We see Clay over here. Okay, this ball screen, where are the defenders? One, two, three, staring right at Steph. Clarkson, 23, and three are all looking right at Steph. That means if you cut to the rim, somebody's going to be open. There's going to be some other space where someone has an advantage. Okay, simply throw the ball into Draymond, give Draymond a downhill advantage. 23 cannot cover up out here and then also Draymond going to the basket. It's just too much for an NBA athlete to cover. And then the exact next possession for the Warriors. Okay, so Clay is the one setting the screen this time. I talked about this earlier. Having them set the screen, Clay up here and then Steph right here as well forces the defenders to guard so much action. Draymond is wide open right here because they don't care about Draymond out here in the perimeter. They care about Clay. Okay, both defenders on Clay. And then right here, you got two defenders. This one is worried about stuff, and then this one is getting screened by essentially his own player and or stuff, and you have literally four players guarding two for the Jazz guarding the Warriors, which means an open dunk for Kaminga. If you enjoyed this content and would like more of it, feel free to like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. Bless.